Hey everyone, in front of me we have PackTalk Edge, the all new premium communication system from Cardio. Now see how to install this into your helmet. Uh, for this tutorial, we'll show you on a full face helmet and also a three quarter helmet, being mindful that if you have a modular helmet, you'll follow the exact same steps as this one. If you plan to put this on a half shell helmet, there's likely one other piece you'll need, which I'll talk about in the accessory section uh, of this video. If you find yourself needing any more information on installation, you can always refer to the installation guide that came in your box or the installation specific video by scanning the QR code in that guide. Let's start. All right, if your helmet allows for it, start by completely removing both cheek pads. Just set them to the side and we'll be back for those. Now I can see on this helmet, when I pull out the cheek pads, there's a little kind of indented suggested area for a speaker. So that's always a good place to start. You're gonna take one of your round Velcros, stick that on each side over the years. And remember, that's a starting spot. If that turns out to not be the right place, what we'll do is we'll take this booster pad, put that there. Now I have a nice flush area inside the helmet where I can put the speaker anywhere I need to. That area right there, it's suggested. If that's where your ear is, great. If it's not, feel free to move that speaker wherever the ear is, it's one of the most important things. Okay, now starting on the left side, I'm gonna place the first speaker. And you can tell it's the left side speaker because it's the one with the shorter cable. Uh, the right side has the much longer cable attached to it. Then if your helmet allows for it, go ahead and pull the headliner back, take the longer cable of the right speaker and tuck it up around top of the helmet and stick the other speaker in over the right ear. And we'll get that buttoned up. Now keep in mind, if your helmet doesn't allow you to pull the headliner back like that, you can always kind of tuck that wire around the back side, make it nice and clean until you reach it around the other side here. So both speakers are in, the wires are tucked away. We don't have a bunch of wires everywhere. Now we move to the microphone on the left side of the helmet. Now a helmet like this, a three quarter or a modular, uh, anything of this nature, we're going to use the hybrid boom microphone, not the wired microphone, because on a wired, obviously there's nowhere to stick it. So what I typically do is grab the microphone before doing any Velcro and just get an idea of where I'm gonna put that Velcro. You wanna leave yourself enough boom length to reach around in front of the mouth and have a couple nice places to put the Velcro. That looks like that'll be our spot. So next, grab the rectangular Velcro pieces. Lay those in the areas that you already determined and place the microphone. making sure to always use this secondary clip. One last thing to mention about the boom microphone, at the very front of it, you'll notice kind of a yellow triangle. Uh, it's super important that that is facing the direction of your mouth. That's the input for the microphone. So always make sure uh, when you're installing it and when you're using it, that the little triangle is facing the direction of your mouth. Moving to the full face for a moment, this is the scenario in which you would use the wired microphone if you'd like to. So, and by the way, you would only be using one of the rectangular Velcros in this scenario, but you just take the general area of where you think your mouth is, adhere the Velcro, and place the button mic there. Now, as we talked about with the speakers a moment ago, uh, location is everything, same with the mic. So you're putting it there for the moment, you're gonna put the helmet on later. Uh, if it feels like the microphone is up by your nose or down by your chin, simply move it. Next, it's time to, again, look at the left side and put the cradle on. When you're putting the cradle onto the helmet, you have two options for mounting it. One is a adhesive plate. The other is this clamp style that pinches the shell of the helmet. Now, the way to, de to determine which one you're gonna use is the thickness of this left side. On this helmet, it's pretty thick. It's not very movable. And just by looking at it, I'm gonna go with the adhesive because if you're dealing with a helmet rim that has a tolerance that's greater than the width of this clamp at its widest point, uh, you, you want to rule the clamp out. So for this helmet, we are going to do the adhesive. And anytime you do the adhesive, you want to make sure you're using that alcohol pad and just cleaning up the helmet. If, whether it's a used helmet, a new helmet, doesn't matter. You want this thing to stick good. Once that area on the left side is nice and dry, just go ahead and take the red pieces off of the adhesive 
And obviously you want to do this before you take the adhesive off and make it permanent, but take the base, make sure it's nice and clean, find a spot on the side of your helmet where you have the best contact points, and then go ahead and place it down. Back to our full face for a moment, I look at the left side of this and that is, that's uh, thin enough and even better, this little rubber piece is pretty flexible, so on this one we are going to use the clamp style. So we take the mount, sorry, the clamp and the cradle itself, put those two pieces together, make sure you get the click, and then on the left side, you know, dead center, go ahead and push the clamp into position. And back to the three quarter, once your adhesive plate is dry, you can go ahead and click the base into position. At this point, we're pretty much there. Now it's just an issue of connecting the speakers to the base. And same with the microphone. And cable management. Obviously you wanna do your best to hide as much of this wire as possible. There's always room and place within the helmet to get this nice and tucked away and clean. And at that point, you put all the cheek pads and headliner back in, get the cables nice and tucked away, and should come out just like that, nice and clean. And now for the best part, you're ready for your Pack Talk Edge to meet your helmet. Now, before you put it on, take note of this little tensioner up front. Pressing that down and sliding the unit forward is how you release Pack Talk Edge. I'll show you in a second. So to put it on, uh, it doesn't get any easier. Just clamp it on. Uh, and then if you want to release it, that little tensioner, just push it down and slide the unit forward. That's how you get it off. 